CFG Gamecast, episode 225, a weekly podcast created by streamers and gamers alike to discuss the latest topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode every weekend and release it on all podcast services on Monday. So please show us some love, give us a like, a follow on YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter, or you can write us a review as we would greatly appreciate it and love your face. So please go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com to not miss an episode. I'm your host, this is Lex, and with me today are my two co-hosts, Mr. Smitty2447. How are we doing this weekend, sir? I am doing great. Uh, that's not. That's not true. That's not true. I'm a little under the weather. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in such Why? denial because I just went through all the diverticulitis stuff Aww. and like you know I've been good and like uh, I'm just like it's not super bad but like you know things are not feeling the greatest oh, but it's no. been fine uh i've been playing a lot of stranded alien dawn i am oh, in nice. love with that Ooh. game oh I- it's such a, a i love game. survival games yeah yeah me too. Dude, yeah yeah so awesome. we we got it i know I, the fact that we've i don't even know that we've ever played a game together Doc. uh, uh we, i so think sad. maybe hell divers oh, or um, what was it? I know we did something one time. We talked did about we? that Dragon Ball game too. We, we got to play the breakers, dude. I have yeah. I love some breakers. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it in the grip. Yeah, it's fun. I don't even know fun. what that is. Yeah, no, it's okay. it's like a almost like an asymmetrical like oh. DVD or yes, DBZ. Yes, 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 yes. I do know what yeah. that is. But okay. it's Dragon Ball. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's Dragon. It's, it's DVD DBZ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's mm-hmm. awesome. yeah. You said that so clean too. I tried. Right? I was like, Bleh. Well, it's, it's funny. Is Doss has us repronounce certain words. We clearly have an accent. I, I guess Las Vegas has an accent now. So you're oh, welcome, did, everybody. Did Lex say some chic? Huh? Who is an accent? What? You you have us I think repronounce for a, second. a lot of oh, uh, a lot of words. Did I? Uh oh. Oh. Um, but Doss, how are you doing this weekend? Let, let's just ignore me. It's okay. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm very excited. There's some there's some cool new games coming out. Nice. Um, I'm gonna see little Wayne in two months. Yeah. Um, Heck yeah. It's summer. It's festival season. So, uh, just trying to get out, and enjoy that sunshine as much as I can. You have been going. I've seen you and Fort Girls pictures, and you guys are so adorable. I we look, we I look I can't pretty good together. Seasons. It's so hot. I don't know how y'all do that. I understand. And she, like she hasn't had a bead it's... of sweat fall down her face in every photo. <laughs> I don't. She's get not it. a sweaty girl. She's she not a sweaty it. girl. Yeah, I don't know what. No, she she's I, great. I, actually. I'm thinking about it. I don't remember her being sweaty. She's usually very cold. That's yeah. See, if I was at a festival with <laughs> dust and he put his arm around me to take a photo, I might bite his head off. Like, don't touch me. I'm I'm sopping oh. wet. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. I, I don't, don't even know if I will. got too sweaty. It was it was kind of a rainy weekend to be honest, but Okay. Um she was wearing a hoodie all the time in Vegas too, so go figure. Yeah, that is true. You guys she was. She was. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, Doss. As you guys can see, Davis is not here. Um, where is he? Great question. Mm, I don't remember. Uh, but that's okay. If you don't know how the drill works, uh, we are going to do a roundtable discussion of three topics. Uh, we will discuss those. But more importantly, we want you to discuss them with us. So if you have any input, any thoughts on those topics that we are discussing, please, by all means, put them in the chat. We will read them. We will engage with you. And it'll it'll be a whole, it'll be a blast. Uh, I didn't pick who was going first. So in my mind, let me scramble the names. Smitty, start. Start us off, sir. What is your topic? Wait, uh-huh. I'm starting. I, no, you're supposed to be starting us off. What? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes, okay. this is your topic. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? Sorry. Don't try to put okay. this evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. So, if you guys <laughs> didn't hear over the week, uh, well, previously, let me let me backtrack a little bit. Doctor Disrespect was just in a flash off of Twitch and Mm. nobody really knew why we knew it had to be serious. And there was speculation going around, um, some commentary that was vague. Um, what as like last year, if I'm not 
Two, um, I'm trying to uh, think. 2020. Like four years ago. 2020? Yeah, it was 2020. Okay. That, oh, stop it. No, it wasn't. Yep. I no, feel like COVID further, might have been was further than that even. Yesterday. It was, I think it, it was like originally started like 2017. It started right? in 2017. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. we had some um, ex-Twitch employees come out and say that the reason that Dr. Disrespect was removed off, to, off of Twitch's website was due to the fact that he was talking to minors. Now. Uh, If you don't know, a grown man who is married with children shouldn't be talking to minors. Whether you are a celebrity or not, there is a power imbalance. It's never appropriate, even if the conversations are bland. Uh, It it just shouldn't happen. However, uh, back then in 2017, Twitch had a whisper system. So you could message within Twitch's realm. Uh, But unbeknownst to Dr. Disrespect, those employees could read those messages. Now, he has come out and said that, <clears throat> and I quote, where did she go? Um, what he did, okay, here it is, sorry, sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being, quote unquote, inappropriate. He added, however, that nothing illegal happened. Uh, grooming is not illegal, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Um, <sighs> no pictures were shared. So no crimes were committed. Uh, Twitch found those messages and banned him. If I'm not mistaken, he stated that they paid out his contract. But now, because of those allegations, him having to now come out and address them and say that, yes, this is what happened. He was sexting a minor. Um, YouTube has now suspended him from the partner program. I was curious what you guys thought about it. I know that Smitty, you had brought it up in your um, in your news clip this week, but you didn't touch on this aspect of it. Just the fact that the game he was working on, that he was a co-founder of, is now he's been uh, kicked out. So I was curious what you guys were thinking. Yeah, anytime I feel anytime number one, you see something like that happen, or, or a company that he you know he co-founded. Uh, this game studio that's working on this game. Uh, I don't know if they actually had conversations beforehand. Uh, he said he was saying it was a mutual thing or that he may, may like step away from there as they, they fired him essentially. Um, like he was live on stream and whatnot. So, you know, when, when a company is distancing themselves like that, to me, that indicates they have some sort of cre- credible evidence about something that they mm. need to get away from, uh, whatever's been put out. I know there's a lot of people that said, well, this is just some some employees or some people saying things. We haven't physically seen uh, the DMs. And I don't know that we ever will see the DMs. I never thought we would actually find out what the hell was actually right. happening and why. But I knew it had to have been something not good, but yeah. you didn't know the extent of it because he was paid out. So right. them not saying anything obviously benefited him. Mm-hmm. Uh, clearly an NDA or something must have ran out because this was so far off my mind when this dude was like, yo, everybody, this is what really went down. I was like, what? <laughs> like, right. who the hell is this mm-hmm. person? Like, what the hell is going on? They're I'm just gonna randomly catch- bringing it up. Go right. Ahead, go ahead. I'm going to catch Chrissy Pickles up. She said I missed it due to due to ads. So to break it down, Dr. Disrespect, well, ex-employees of Twitch came out and said that Dr. Disrespect was taken off of the Twitch platform because he was sexting a minor. Dr. Disrespect finally, in return, responded to that this week and said that, yes, he was uh, messaging a minor and it did border on inappropriate at times, but that he didn't share any photos and that no crimes were committed. And I brought up the fact that though no crime was committed, um, because he was messaging an inappropriate inappropriately with a minor, grooming is not considered illegal technically. There is no it's a it's a gray area. Like you can groom somebody messaging them sexually, but if it if there's no photos, it's really hard to it's- like there has to be more to it, right? Um so, and Smitty was bringing up the fact that he had po- started a company that was working on a game and they've now mutually walked away from each other. But the Twitch partner program has now suspended him as well, um, mm. pending these allegations. So, YouTube. 
YouTube, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, YouTube is now, because he came out and he was like, yeah, I did it, uh, but it it might have been inappropriate, but no crime was committed. No pictures were shared. That was one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Right. <laughs> so yeah. he basically said, like, yeah, whoa, whoa. I was sexting a minor. <laughs> What well, grossed me out was 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 in the in the he says um he says that these were mutual conversations and I immediately was like what does that mean there, what does that a mean power that balance. mutual conversation that's not mutual it means like they were reciprocating this this minor was reciprocating this minor was you into you adult, like sir. what is what is what does mutual mean <laughs> unless you're actually not trying to say like oh it's okay this minor was into me it's right. not like you know they were resisting or anything. And uh, said no, or said no, and I ignored that. They were into me. It's okay. That's what that's what mutual says to me. Right. That no. That's insane. I love that your cat is like. I also would like to get in on this. <laughs> um, yeah. No. Here's the thing. Like, you can slowly groom somebody over time, and it can feel creepy when like you're reading the messages from a third party perspective. But if it doesn't border. Like they gain your trust, right? So maybe she messaged him about the game and they were going back and forth about it. Maybe she flirted with him a little and then he flirted back and then one thing after another. But it doesn't matter. A, she's a minor and it's a power balance. Now, here's the thing. Will we see the messages is what you had said, Smitty. I don't think so because she was a minor at the time. If there is any sort of like investigation that took part, whether the police department on you know maybe they were in different states her police department is investigating it's locked down as far as that is concerned because it protects you even if they are now an adult unless she comes out and shares that or he we won't we won't necessarily see those messages yeah that's that is very true i mean still <laughs> he came out and said that he did it, and then yeah. you know, trying to trying to do it, where it's like a uh, you know, it <laughs> my, just, may have I'm crossed inappropriate. This, this you are an adult. Why are years. you speaking to a child? Right. This dude's been broadcasting you- for years. He's a millionaire. Do you not yeah. have any kind of PR team whatsoever? Do you? Is, you just you just come out and you're like, yeah, I did it, but it wasn't that bad. And if you right. don't want to fuck with me anymore, then then you know that's on you. Like right. they, he couldn't have contacted somebody me, else to like devise a statement or just write something for him. This dude just off the cuff <laughs> tweets his entire yeah. admission of 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 you know it's uh, pretending like he didn't know what this was about for the last four or five years. Well, and here's, then, here's the <laughs> kicker: he admitted it. Oh, excuse me. Opie. Yeah. Um, regardless of here's he's now admitted it. Her family, if she's still a minor, can now come after him for a yeah. lot of money. Well, I imagine there's all kinds like you literally he said that screwed you did, himself. Well, there has, that, that my thing knows that so they said it started Which, with good. the Twitch whispers, but you mm-hmm. can't send pictures and stuff like that in whispers, correct? No, you can send links. Oh, they, they, no, I'm thinking of somebody else because there was somebody else that came out that said that they were or are a trans sex worker, I believe, and there was another thing that came oh. out that they put out like a bunch of uh messages between the two like between uh different social apps and stuff like that and like okay. dude, like it was be- like yo this dude wait. is a degenerate wait dr like, disrespect was talking beautiful- to a trans sex worker yes! too yes yes oh, in, in yeah. i didn't know that yeah it's crazy. This dude clearly, like you not only, so you not only cheated on your wife, you were doing like 2017, you were completely off the chain. Right. You you were just <gasps> doing whatever. He is married. He was married then, Hell Mr. Yeah, Seven Figures. Mar- yes. Yeah. I don't know. Who yeah. was this was all, my door, all this happened in the same I, I, I year. I believe it happened the same year, yeah, that he cheated yes. on his wife. 2017. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Mm-hmm. You've got to be joking. So. It's see, crazy, and again, that. you know, I'm not. I mean, obviously, that stuff is absolutely deplorable. Um, but for that to come out, and the fact too, to me, which I think is scary and a little indicative of, of society as a whole, is that there's still people that will defend this kind of the behavior and this right. and that, and that absolutely blows my mind. You right. know what I mean? It's like, how could you, after all this? 
this is not a good person. No. Entertaining or not, they're not a good person. No. So fuck them. I think so. That's how I, I feel. Exactly. No, I agree. Because, and here's the thing. I read a lot of the comments underneath the tweet and it made me really sad. Because one, it was, well, he admitted it. So he is a good guy and he just made mistakes. No, no. If that was your daughter, are you going to sit there and yell at her and make this her problem? Because that's what it sounds like. Um, no, absolutely. Yeah. Or or your son. I don't know. We don't know the gender. Um, they them. It, it doesn't matter. It, it, you you. OK, that's insane. That's insane. I this man has children. He has a wife. They go to the conventions with him. Like this, this gross. How it's embarrassing so gross. for the and family. A, a lot of his right. audience is children too. That's yeah. what sucks. Yeah. Cause yeah. this, it, this could not be a one-time thing. He could have messaged multiple kids, but this was the only one that got found out. Right. And if he thinks it's not that big of a deal, and as you said, is making it now on us, the audience to decide whether we want you need to step away. You need to get off the internet and you need to walk away. Because if he thinks that's okay, what is on that man's hard drive? Right? <laughs> Think, I can't. If, I don't even want to know. Okay. Even know. Fortnite right. clips. access to a bunch of money. He said Fortnite clips. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, and on top yeah, of that, wow. too, like... It's just the whole thing is insane, and I think what is happening in my house right now. I'm my so cat sorry. heard the word grooming too many times. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jeez, so did mine. Apparently, um, yeah, no, well, nothing illegal happened. If I message Doctor Disrespect, there is an empower balance there, right? He holds the power as this creator, whether he thinks about that or not. And I'm not a minor. Now you're putting a child in that. And regardless of whether those messages started out as flirtatious on their end or his end, he's the adult in that situation. He cuts that off. Why are you? Hello? Hey, we're like the same age. Like, how could right. I couldn't even think about yeah. like, like, what? No. Yeah. That's like, insane. That's like Lincoln messaging him to ask him a question about, uh, about his game. And then all no. of a sudden... Right. No is is the answer. I so, will find you and I will destroy you. It, uh, and I, yeah, no, this is this is yeah. egregiously bad. And you know, the other thing too, again, my guess is that because and I don't know how it fleshed out with the whole uh Twitch thing, because I know at one point in time when they had changed their TOS, they had spoken about this is this was going on during the Me Too move movement as well and they were talking about how they're going to be swift swiftly and decisively going after folks that you know what i mean that were doing stuff like this so for them and right. it was only like what a couple months since they had signed doc to that yeah. huge mega contract yeah. so for them to pull out i was like nah dude something bad happened yeah. right. and i don't know that we will ever i i, I did not think we would ever know exactly what idiot. happened. Them NDAs must have ran out. And then for well, him to come out after all this. Right. Like, like ew, ew, right. brother, ew. <laughs> brother, like, ew. <laughs> no, it's gross. And, and here's the thing is, is mm. listen, our audience, we love you. We think you're fantastic people. If you, hello, it, if I don't think, again, like reading the tweets and people are like, well, he admitted it. So he's a good guy. This, that, and the No, he's not because he didn't do this just once that we are aware of. He's done other things that are egregious. He's countlessly cheated on his wife. This is not a, a no, this is not a good person. Right. And morally, when you follow people like that, whether it's to get in on the drama, to see it or be a part of it, like just, just stay away from people like that. Cause if this isn't a big deal to him, I'm telling you, there's more out there that we haven't found out yet. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And he admitted, Chrissy says, and he admitted after he was called out. He didn't have to, Chrissy. He, That's the thing. He could have kept his mouth shut and we would have never known. Right? That's true. It could have People just could have been, speculated, but without right. saying anything like... You know, you it would have just been worked, people talking. Right. I can say I worked for Twitch. I didn't. 
But I could sit here and, and say that I did, right? And say, well, this is this is the information that I know. That could be BS, right? We don't actually know. So, you know, it is what it is. Dr. Slow on, on <laughs> YouTube says, I'm just joining to say I don't care. Good for you. I'm glad that you don't care. Um, <laughs> but we do. You know, I don't have children. And I joke that I don't like children and F them kids all the time. But if somebody even looked at Smitty's children wrong, A, I would unleash the little one on them because she, she hits pretty hard. And number two, <laughs> you wouldn't exist after that. I have a shovel and I live in the desert. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think yeah. I think we uh, we rounded that off pretty well. Go ahead, Smitty. I think Doss was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Doss. I'm sorry. No, I just uh, – it's, it's really weird how, how hard people are defending them, and I don't know if they're just that much invested into the um, cult of personality, and they've been I, – I don't, I don't know if they have like sort of a um, – sunken cost fallacy going on where like they think they've they've been in the community for so long and they just don't want to ad admit that they've been this He's big of a fan of a pedo or what um but yeah people are like really hardcore defending him or going on these like what about uh, what about ism uh tangents of like uh well there's titty streamers on twitch and there are minors on twitch but it's like that that's that's a failure in parenting and it's yeah, completely yeah. different it's a completely <laughs> different thing from uh uh, you know, a grown man like actively, knowingly speaking to someone that's underage, and um, but people are 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 really, really fighting to um come up with logical reasons for for why this is okay or it's not as bad, right? And it's it's really, really weird to say to see. Um, I but I think I it's a lot about some of the people. And that here's them. the thing, guys: if you're yeah, if you're a part of somebody's community, just unless you were there from the beginning and your real life friends, he's not your friend. He's not your friend. And the more you yeah. defend him, the more you're helping him just repeat this again. You know what I'm saying? Both of them feel like they have some strong, like parasocial Ugh. relationships that they've built up and they feel like, you know, it's, yeah. it's like one of their friends or one of their buddies or something like, you know, being arrested for something. And they, you know, just want to do everything they can to like support him and, and, and think that he's innocent when he, when he's already, admitted to what he's done um but right. yeah i just i i remember um back in like i i don't know if it was 2017 or 16 when there was um that's like the whole gaming industry had kind of its its own little me too movement remember where it was like um lots of streamers were were getting revealed and i think they canceled uh evo the fighting games tournament that year because a lot of those members oh um, my god remember that canceled yes who? dude yeah, Sorry, yeah, it's cutting out like for that me a little bit. Like went up the ladder. Yeah. Wait, who got yeah. called out? Um, so so there's one of the one of the biggest fighting game tournaments of the year. It might be the biggest. Is called Evo. Yes. And so a I'm huge gone, number Mr. of their uh like like biggest community members, um, were outed as either like you know have, being sex pests or mm. um you know unwanted advances on people or just straight up like having relationships with minors. Um, the CEO as well, and yeah, they had to like. Oh, that's yeah, it was, right. It was a lot I do of huge names in the fighting game industry, and it was a lot of people um, throughout the the gaming industry as well. I remember there was a guy on Twitch because this this is this is the thing that I kept seeing um, about Doctor Disrespect before he admitted it. A mm -hmm. lot of people were saying like, "Well, why would his wife stay with him if that's what he was doing?" and like, like that's like some sort of excuse or reason. And I don't know if she, I don't <laughs> know if his wife knew reasoning. about it. I don't know. But I remember right. there was a, uh, there was a streamer at the time. They got banned from Twitch. His name was Warwitch TV. He used to stream in early in the mornings. And he, he kind of had this like 40 some year old, like streamer dad kind of personality. And, um, I remember it came out that he was grooming minors. He was like sexting high school girls. And his wife would help him with it. What? Um, yeah, his his wife would would help him like like talk to high school girls and like eventually like get them into a streaming community and 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 yeah, and so he was one of the first. He was a partner in streamer. He probably had like a few hundred you know yeah. viewers at the time, and um, he got banned from Twitch. Like his whole online presence was nuked and and just deleted. Um, 
And this is this is like I said, back when Doctor District got got, or you know, he was he was cheating. It came out that he was cheating uh, cheating on his wife, but you know, like nothing yeah. too serious really came from that. Um, right. But there was another well, guy. And here's the thing. Yeah. Go ahead. That for for any of the ladies here who are like, I would absolutely not stay in a relationship with me with someone who you know was doing that. Um, those girls are called pygmies, and sometimes they are just absolutely yeah. blinded by love, and they will do anything to keep their partner. And is that this situation with Dr. Disrespect? I don't know. It's not, that's not my business. That's between them. Mm -hmm. But if she stays after this. I remember there was, there was a a guy, there was a guy that was in uh, my community. He was in a lot of um, smaller streaming communities. He was trying to offer people um, uh, ways to get like paid gaming uh, sponsorships, right? Mm. And he was, he was kind of well known actually in the streaming community for, it was like a lot of, he had had a pretty well known like, you remember, like, the, you remember the stream communities before there were teams? There were like these little communities on Twitch that everybody could join. Um, yeah. There'd be like bearded beauties or something and like <laughs> all these little um, little little kind of side communities you could join. He ran one of those and it came out that he was very abusive to his girlfriend. And uh, so one of the first things I did was I, I banned him from our Discord and I, I told everybody that was talking to him about the sponsorships like, hey, you might not want to deal with this guy. And he kind of disappeared from there. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was a guy I remember that I, I would see him stream every now and then because I was streaming very early in the mornings and he it was it was European and um, once people saw that I I had kind of called it that one guy that I had, had dealings with that was being abusive to his girlfriend people started saying like hey I, I think you're friends with this guy too um, and he's been sending girls in his community inappropriate pictures you know unsolicited he has like a special part in his discord where he coerces girls into like like publicly posting sexy pictures uh in exchange for raids and things like that um and if they don't then he tries to like blackmail them and say that they they did things they didn't um insane yeah yeah yeah. and it bothered me because like this he like they're like i really didn't know him that well but a couple times he'd raid me and because we were kind of kind of in the same time slot. This is before I was a Twitch partner, and he would have this really weird thing where he'd come to my chat and he'd be like, "Oh, you know, it's not fair that we're not Twitch partners yet, man." He's like, "I don't know why they're doing this to us," and I'm like, "I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, I'm, I'm working on it. You know, it's like it's not gonna happen overnight. I don't think someone's like, you know, actively trying to sabotage me, dude. I wouldn't get that, that kind of thing about it. That's weird. Um, so yeah, yeah I like." Called- I called Red him on flag. Twitter because he was he was he was big on the game that I was playing on the time, and and that game had a very small community of streamers. And I was like, "This dude's creep. Like, you should know about it. He's probably gonna creep on the girls in your community. Don't fuck with him." This guy was the hugest Doctor Disrespect fanboy. Like, oh like his his follow alert. His follow alert was Doctor Disrespect. A clip of Doctor Disrespect saying his name. Um, oh god! <laughs> like on his oh. He was so clearly trying to be like the European doctor disrespect. Strike and, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, man, dude. I mean, I I don't know how much of his thing is a character, and how much of it is real, but right. Yeah, I mean, it, like when you cultivate yeah. that kind of community, like of course they're gonna act like, you know. You got to be careful. There's a lot of people. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. I've like, seen people on like Twitter and Reddit being like, "Oh, she's probably really bad, 17 year old though." You know, like, and it's like, Ugh, dude. that's that the craziest justify. thing I've ever heard. Her brain's not developed. <laughs> Man, like, I, I, I totally egg. like. You got to watch in general because they're all over the place on social media and on streaming and stuff like that. I have mm-hmm. been scammed at like five hundred bucks. I yeah. was in this community and it was a dude's community, and he gave me this sob story about like <gasps> something yes. and and like you know his kid and this and that. Mm-hmm. So I sent them some money, and uh, you know, I'll get you back. And like I, I, you know, if I if I loan or give somebody money i don't expect it back but yeah. you know what i mean it's it's the gesture that counts whatever um and the dude you know never 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 anything didn't really hear anything from whatever and i was in hawaii i took my dad uh to hawaii for his 60th birthday and um this dude hit me up and was like hey man like i was like look man like, look, dude, like, I, I don't got anything for you, dude. I'm on vacation right now. Like, bro, like, you got to leave me alone, man. And, like, it's just like, all right, man, like, you know, 
I, I see what you're doing here. And yeah. you've literally know, built a community. It seems like there's that there's somebody out here locally uh, that I found out was doing shenanigans. Grimy ass people, oh, I feel like, are are everywhere. So yeah. make sure you're keeping your guard up, especially in the social spaces, mm. in the streaming spaces, all that stuff. There's, there's a lot of great people that I've met. Uh, yeah. So don't don't Same. let it scare you. But there's a ton of scumbags, both you know that, that fit the gamut of people. Uh, mm-hmm. So keep your keep your defense up a bit as well so this is i hope he gets his comeuppance Same. fuck him he doesn't deserve a platform rotten hell uh, agreed and just a friendly reminder if you're meeting people from your communities that you've created online please don't go by yourself and always have your phone saying where your location is to a third party that is not involved you know what i mean do check-ins because you you just never know man or female Right. Like it can happen to anybody. Like you, you could be robbed. Y- you don't know. So just please keep that in mind because we're about to hit con season. And uh, that's why I wear bright colored shoes, because I take off running sometimes. And Adam really has to keep an eye on me. <laughs> Same <laughs> Smitty. But uh, I get yeah. lost. I get I know. lost, too. It's why Opie is really <laughs> handy because I'm like, find him. <laughs> Sick him, boy. You know. So. Yeah. All right. I think. uh I think we hit the nail yeah. on the head with that one. Smitty, yeah. you are up next, my friend. What are you going to talk about today? Yeah, I wanted to talk. This is kind of interesting to me. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or not or remember. Uh, Lost Records, Bloom and Rage. It's by, uh, hold on, let me pull it up real quick again. I want to be able to, Don't Nod. Um, and if you didn't know, Don't Nod is the original studio that created Life is Strange. So what they've decided to do is that this originally, I can't remember. I know that there was a beta or something like that. And people have been playing this game uh, and whatnot. And uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it's both narrative and like creepy, scary, like different vibes and stuff like that. But obviously we saw here not too long ago that life is strange. Double exposure is going to be coming out, which ironically goes back to the original character max caulfield uh again this studio is the one that created created the first one so what they've decided to do was delay lost records rage or bloom and rage uh until 2025 and basically what they said was we want you know we think the community is very much aligned with the type of games that these are kind of being narrative uh as well so there are just you want to be able to give room for both games to be able to breathe, for folks to be able to play them and not feeling having to be rushed or anything like that. And obviously That's this awesome. is a smart move yeah. because yeah. you don't want to compete against Life is Strange. That community is big and large and passionate. So you want to be able to In give charge. your game a chance to, you know what I mean? Because they're going to enjoy that game at Lost Records as well, most likely. So this was an absolute smart move on their part to say this was kind of around our target date or even maybe maybe a little earlier than theirs. But, you know, people are going to be on that and they're going to be on that hard, especially everything that's going on. Deck Nine has done a fantastic job um, with the Life of Strange uh, games that they've played as well. So. Um, yeah, I just want, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. I've never played the life of strange. I played a little bit of the first one. I'm going to play. I, I don't want to just jump in. I want to play it from the jump off. Double exposure made me excited, uh, to play it. You know what I mean? This seems like a good game that like I can play on a chill. I'll ball my eyes out and don't got to worry about nothing. You know what I mean? So I hear it's really yeah. good. It is on the list. This is very high on my, uh, backlog list for story games so this has only got me more pumped to want to not only do that but this kind of makes me look at lost records and be like well i also want to like if there's some similarities and i didn't know that that's the same developer that that created the first life is strange i want to check this out i i want to i want to see what it's all about whereas before i remember the name but i couldn't tell you anything about it <laughs> yeah i okay Everyone has told me I need to play Life is Strange. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like 
story games. I'm trying to, I feel like I did play Part of Life is Strange, but it's not on PC, right? It's only PlayStation. It is, it is yeah. on PC? It's on, yeah, yeah, it's on, okay. it's on PC as well. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I feel like I did play something. Gosh. It was on, it was on play. It was like a free game, I think, on PlayStation yeah. at one point in time. Okay. Yeah. That's how I had it. It's, it's yeah. like a story adventure. There's like some time travel, right? Say Yes. Yeah. At least in the first one. There, mm. I'm sorry. Doss, you cut out for me. There, oh, it, what uh, did you it, say? it's like a story kind of adventure with some with some time travel. I want, is, yeah. is it kind of like Butterfly uh, Effect in, as far as story, I feel like? Maybe. Yes, I feel okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. Like the story was amazing, though, and they've yeah. kind of added like. But the second one, I know there was Life is Strange. Then there was Before the Storm, right. and then there was Life is Strange Two, which mm-hmm. was two new protagonists. True colors. Um, yes. And then, no, no. Then there was three. Oh, I think right. Uh, that was the one that had Katie's character. I think in it. First, Tell me blew. why. That's what okay. I think. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It's yes. Similar, similar style though. Yes. Similar kind of style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great games. They look fantastic. I have been meaning to play Life is Strange. I just, I haven't gotten to it. Mm. It's interesting. I, so I had heard about Lost Records, Bloom and Rage, and I thought it was a part of Life is Strange. Like it was just like a oh. side. So, yeah, I didn't realize it. So just to give you guys like a little um, encapsulation of what it is. So Lost Records, Bloom and, Bloom and Rage, embark on a new narrative journey by the creators of Life is Strange. Film your summer of 1995 and create memories of a lifetime with your new friends. 27 years later, confront the dark secrets that made you all promise to never speak again after that fateful summer, which reminds me of <laughs> what you did last. I know what you did last <laughs> summer kind of vibes. Um, so I had wanted to play it because I thought it was going to be a little spooky, but I might be wrong on that. I, I just maybe would have to say either way. I do want to play both games. And, and back to the, your point was I it, they're correct. I think that's a really good idea to let them breathe because getting into two story games at the same time is really hard. You're going to kind of have to pick one over the other to at least play right. first. Right. So it just makes sense. It makes sense. I think this is an absolutely great idea. Um, I, 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 I need to go back and play both. I've lost, I've lost my, my gaming soul currently. I think once I'm done reading the 13 books that are in my closet, (laughs) I'll be ready to come back. (laughs) I read really fast. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know how long each game is, but I'm going to have to go back I'm going to have to go back and play them. If I can play them on PC, that's great because I, as we all know, I don't play controller anymore. Um, I have a lot of trouble with my hands and my arthritis. So, Mm. um, yeah, if I can play this on PC, even better for me. But I, again, great idea. Give them room to breathe. And then, I mean, more than they're giving what over a year between each game, Smitty. Uh, I wouldn't say no. So life is double exposure comes out at the end of October. Okay. And they haven't even set like, they just said 20 early 2025. So I imagine within the first quarter. Okay. So at least it gives you a couple months in between. So yeah, smart, smart move. They're going to be getting their money either way. However, letting them breathe brings more of an audience. I think also this is good PR for them for both games. You know what I'm saying? Like this wasn't really the second part or the life is strange game was not on my radar. So gives me more Mm. reason to, to go back and play the original. So I think it's a great idea because why not? You know? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Doss? Yeah. It kind of makes me want to try them out because I've, I've seen them. I know people are very dedicated to them. They look, it looked like there's like a, a a lot a lot going on, like a lot of drama going on. And I, I like choose your own adventure stories and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I like the concept too, like kind of eighties nineties feel with the tape recorder Please, and kind of yeah. that aesthetic. Like, seems really really cool. Uh, obviously, we know the first Life is Strange uh, is a banger. So, 
being able to kind of be like, hey, we're going to respect what they've done. What Deck Nine's doing over there is fantastic. We support Life is Strange as well. We're going to go ahead. Like, this is a delay that I feel, even if they were like having issues, mm-hmm. it's hard for me to paint it in that picture. Like, oh, right. yeah, that makes sense. They got, they just announced that they're coming out in October. They want to give it some breathing room. What a great freaking, you know, winner reverse card. On the mm-hmm. situation that happened there, regardless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I didn't realize, now I know why everyone was saying that I need to play this. So um, it, it is LGBTQIA, or DOS, please. Le give us the correct pronunciation. Le Thank de you. Um, in the game, you can be attracted to multiple people. That does not make you poly, it makes you human. Gay. Oh. I, le- I love that. I. Yeah, gay. Uh, I am gay. Uh, <laughs> so now, it, all my friends telling me to play is, is it because I'm queer? Jerks. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but it is a pivotal queer game that mirrors the journey of many young people trying to just figure out who their identities are. And that's what we were all doing in high school. You know what I mean? Uh, whether we realized it or not at the time. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think that's great. I think, damn it, now I've got another game to add to my list. Well, you know, too, oh. and, and being <laughs> friends with Katie, being able to work with Katie, I've been able to meet and play and become friends with people within that community as well. And there's, there's so many, it's just an eclectic group of just wonderful, loving people. Uh, so, like, it, I, I always feel shame that, like, oh, she's working on this project and I've never played it. I'm a terrible friend. Um, and so I will. It is no, on the No, you're not. <laughs> it is on the list. Hard to disagree. Very high on my list. It is, so, right. Lost Records, Bloom and Rage is a new spooky story. So mm-hmm. that's why that fell into my radar. Because um, I get, yeah. I don't know who this person is. Fern, whoever you are, I know you watch my content. Bless your soul. Um, they send me emails like, hey, uh, something you would be interested in. I have a key for you if you want one. Like they send oh, me nice. stuff all the time, and they they sent me. Are maybe? I don't know how they got my email, but bless their soul, they're so sweet. But they they write me little notes too, like, "Hey, I haven't seen you playing in a while. Um, take some you, you time." I'm like, oh, "Yes." Okay, good. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, even if I don't have the time to play that game, I'll be like, hey, Fern, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, I, You know, I, I just don't have it in me right now. Please gift my the the key you're holding on to for me to somebody else who, right. who would enjoy the game. Um, but I, I did message them about this. I was like, this looks really good. Um, mm. And they sent me a clip that I don't think is out there yet. So they are part of some sort of PR team. Um, yeah. But I know they watch my content because every time they send me like a, a PR email, they also write it personally to me. with like, hey, I watched you this week and that joke you made. And then they'll quote me. I'm mm. like, dang, they really do watch my stuff. <laughs> like, thank you. What is your name on Twitch? Wow. Um, but yeah, they're really yeah, no, sweet. So yeah, no wonder they they threw this my way. And they had asked if I'd played Life is Strange. And I was like, no, I've been meaning to. But there's a mm. lot of them and I need to go back. And their response was, don't worry. Once you get through Alan Wake, I'm sure your spark will be back. I was like, how do they know? <laughs> how do they know? Um, but yeah, the, the, this email is like, I hope you're enjoying your summer reading. I'm like, I posted about that on threads and nowhere else. So it's kind of okay. creepy a little bit. And, and, have it you would, like had like conversations with these people? Apparently, I talked to them on on Twitch and other socials, but <laughs> that's not Fern. They sign their name Fern, but that's not. I don't talk to anybody on my socials named Fern. But the way <laughs> I'll be honest, the way they word things does not come off creepy. Um, mm. And gender wise, they give me the feel of like a they them she her. So I don't know. It's AI. It, it, it's Right. What is, it's what probably is like some sort of bot. <laughs> what is what did name you again? say, Doss? Sorry, you cut out. Uh, what, what is their name again? Fern. F E R N. On on. Fern, like like the plant, like a fern. Is that their name on uh, Twitter? Not on Twitch, just in their emails. Um, like, that's name. I'm, I'm sorry. That's how they, they sign they sign time? off. Like all the best, Fern. I don't know. 
I that's signed up. My, I wonder okay. if that's my my oh, friend Sketchy's oh. partner because her name their name is. Fern. Do they do they mean? Yeah, they. I mean, they work for. Um, Maybe. Um, do they send out PR emails? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they work for uh, Hello Guillotine. They do AAA and indie launches and stuff. I don't know who that is. That, Maybe I think, so. I, think I that had might signed be up through. To. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I'm Maybe. Sure it's been, yeah. So I signed up to get to get a game through uh when God, what was it called? Um Chainsaw Massacre. When that was about to come out, mm-hmm. I signed up through this website to maybe get a key. After that is when I and they had asked, Do you want us to send your email to other PR teams? Yeah. Please don't make that noise. And I said, Yes, please. I would love that. Um and they said, if you feel un- overwhelmed at any time, like feel free to unsubscribe through. You can mm-hmm. do it through our website or via your email. We won't take it to heart. I was like, oh, that's great. Um, and that's when I started around that time is when I started receiving emails from Fern. But also Phenom said that she had given my email to a couple of oh, people. Oh, that's right. So I'm like, maybe, yeah. maybe that's, I don't know. I, I don't know how many friends are probably out there in the gaming infrastructure. But I feel like market, I'm. But... <laughs> I, I met them right, at. But uh... I also feel creepy being like. Yeah, I, I met them at TwitchCon. Uh, Go ahead, I'm in, sorry. in Europe a couple years ago. They're very short, very sweet. Ass. Just ass. I, yeah, I need to say, yeah. like, hey, I'm I'm so sorry if this is blunt, but and if you want to keep yourself anonymous yeah. in that regard, like, what what is your Twitch? What is your Twitch name or what is your handle is on your, other is socials? Your partner's internet it's name not sketchy firm. dentist and you know Das. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta this be the same person. Who strange. are you? Who are you? I know. I feel like a dick if I say Twitch? that. I'm so sorry. Right? I just I thought because I've been they're in Europe right now having a great time and they've they've gone like they're Twitch in Amsterdam and Paris. Yeah, I don't yes. know if they're going to Twitch coming to you. I just know oh. um, uh, oh, he lives in Boston and visits, okay. visits her in I'm Europe. I'm trying to so. see if I... Oh, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. And and what is her name on, on the socials more, usually? On, on Twitter, I believe um, see, the name is... The email is coming from Player 2 PR. It's um, their name at I, Player 2 PR. I believe they used PR. to work at so Player 2 PR, yeah. That's why. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. On, on, on Twitter, their name is uh, Dingy Fairy. Bramble Twig? What's Bramble Twig? I am not familiar with that. That sounds Bramble familiar thing? too. Yes. Uh, that sounds like on. the name of a Hobbit town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like across from the Shire, we got to go to the lands of Bramble Twig. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from in the chat? Bramble Twig. Bramble yeah. Twig. It's a it's a small <laughs> world. The Bramble Twigs. If that's like who it town. is. Please send them my love, and I appreciate their emails. They're so sweet. Oh, but yeah, that's it was. Crazy. Sorry, it was, we got a little off track. Here. It's okay. But yeah. Anywho. Um. Good. Yeah. So that yeah, kind yeah. of. That's, go ahead. That's yeah. That's it. Lost records delayed to twenty twenty five. To make room so they're not sitting there competing and jocking with Life is Strange, Double Exposure. Smart moves on their part. Great PR for both teams. I love to see that the original creators of Life is Strange still supporting not only Deck Nine, but, you know, these this whatever number iteration this next one will be. And they're going back to the original character to follow up with their story as well. So... I, I love that so I, I I just love it all around. Me too. Yeah. And I think that is who it is. Maybe. <laughs> okay, this is And these now, are I'm, the breaks. And these <laughs> are the breaks. Um so those were our two main <laughs> topics today. We told Dawes that he did not have to come with the topic. Uh because sometimes that makes people more comfortable. Uh, I had also asked him last minute, so and that man is very busy. Uh, but for our third topic, uh, I just kind of wanted to discuss how the community for um, the game, the original, was America, America. Oh my gosh, I always say it wrong yeah. as a joke, and now <laughs> America, huh? America McGee, <laughs> America McGee's Alice. Um, but because of <laughs> so many the creators, guys, what's your topic? 
Yeah, right. <laughs> right? was going to be Dr. Uh, Disrespect, actually. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, so America, American McGee's uh, Twisted Tale version of Alice, and then the second game, Madness Returns. If you guys don't know, in 2023, um, he had been working really hard with a bunch of other creators to basically make a whole book. And it was, I want to say, like 24 pages front and back. No, 400 pages front and back that they gave and presented to EA for the third game. Mm. Um, and they were like, this is our ideas. This is kind of our layout. This is our storyboards. This is this is what we think the third game should entail. Now, if you don't know, EA owns the the um, give me the World. verbiage, Smitty, right. the, the rights to I wanted to say the proprietary, but that's wrong. The rights to his games. Um so he may have created them, but it is EA's it's they own it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've kind of been putting American McGee like on the back burner for ages. Uh, and finally, in 2023, we got our answer. EA said, we don't plan on making this game. We looked at what you sent us. It looks fantastic, but we're not we're not planning to make this game. And they didn't say at this time. They just said making the game with you right Mm -hmm. so as a community we were all super disappointed um and we had we had waited a long time uh i'm trying to remember the when the years that the the games came out so um in the 2000s is when the second one came out ah and is that right? Hold on. I remember I remember reading about them in PC Gaming World magazine. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. it's it's been a long time. Let me double check these dates. Yeah, they would do reviews of video games. Like I I remember reading like the Diablo 2 review in that magazine. And <laughs> uh they were they did a lot of interviews with American McGee, which is the name of uh yeah, the developer if it sounds weird. Um mm-hmm. and uh I remember, yeah, he was talking about how, like, when he went to Japan and people ask him his name and he says, oh, I'm American. They're like, yeah, we know you are a dumbass, but what's your name? And <laughs> <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's a goofy name. Um, uh, Fork actually did a, uh, a Madness Returns body paint. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. sick. So if you guys, just to give you some backstory, American McGee's Alice came out in the early 2000s. Alice Madness Returns came out for the PlayStation 3 in 2011. And since then, we've been waiting to hear about the third. Which is going to be called Alice Lost in New York. (laughs) 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 It's it's, it's actually... I believe I've seen that. (laughs) Alice Alice When Nature Calls. It's Alice (laughs) 2 Electric Boogaloo. Right. Um... (laughs) And yeah, so basically we we have it was 11 years from the original that it came out. We've been waiting a really long time um, and we got the no. However, because of how friendships created through this community uh, and McGee himself, he had created a Patreon where you could purchase dolls from the game like the renditions mm. of like alice's dress mm. on the dolls which i think you sent me oh, one this week smitty didn't what? you send me a bunny or was that are somebody you else? even what are you talking about <laughs> i was like i don't remember doing that <laughs> nope it wasn't you oh i don't know God. who sent it to like- me Hold on, how Dang rip it. was I? <laughs> right, no. You're getting, your, you're getting your Smitty's mixed up here. I, I am. I have like five. Who's your Smitty. other Smitty? I know. Um. So somebody this week sent me like one of his rabbits with one of her versions of her dress on, and a oh. lot of like the little ruins oh. that are on the dress. And he's kind of bloody and cute and adorable. Um, but he has a ton of that stuff, and he was using the money from the sales of the dolls to then fund uh, with other producers uh, oh. and artists to make that book that he presented to EA in 2023. Mm. Um, but because people in the community are still so die hard for this game and people are seeing cosplays like on Instagram and you know, the creations of those yeah. via reels or through TikTok. It has really just kept this this spirit of this game alive, you know, 
15 plus years later and people are going back. Like I recently earlier this year, Adam and I figured out how to make the first game work. It's That's not awesome. the right size, but we did it, and I, I was remember. able to stream yeah. it. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And I played yep. Mattis Returns first because that's all I could get my hands on. I could not get the first one, but this year we figured it out. That's um, awesome. So, so you beat this one, the did original. You beat this? Mm-hmm. I beat both. Okay, okay. Oh. The OG, yeah. is, okay. The OG looks, looks kind of different from this. Several but times. It, it, they're very stylized. They're really neat looking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, it almost reminds me of like a like a Nightmare Before Christmas type of thing, like that whole vibe, feel, even like the art style yeah. of it. Um, yeah, it, very interesting. Well, and, and it's actually kind of creepy. It is. Well, <laughs> and if you've ever read the original books, they are pretty creepy. Like if you yeah, think about it, a little girl basically just falls down this rabbit hole, and all of these weird adults are are talking mm-hmm. to her, whether they are friend or foe and if you haven't watched the 1985 version of alice with all of the celebrities you are missing out because it's so good oh, what but is that which one are you talking about have you never <laughs> what? okay hold on i'm which gonna send you a link is it like the whiz but for but yes and they <laughs> all alice? sing <laughs> is, it like, yes. is it like return to oz do you remember that movie yes okay i Fruzzable. haven't I, it's funny. I type in the 1985 whiz. Alice in Wonderland immediately comes up. So it was a made for Jackson's TV. <laughs> it was a made. Diana it was made. Guys are goofs. It was a made for TV Alice in Wonderland and through the looking glass. But mm. I'm just going to read a few of, of the people that were in this. So mm. Natalie Gregory plays Alice. Carol Channing is in it. Ooh. Red Buttons plays the rabbit. Sheila Red Allen. Buttons. Jane Meadows plays the Queen of Hearts. John Stamos is in it, and he mm. plays the messenger. Uh, Bo Bridges. Anthony Newley plays the Hatter. Lloyd Bridges. Uh, Robert crazy. Morley. Like, we're talking, it is a star-studded cast. Um, Tom McLaughlin plays the Jabberwocky. Sherman Hemsley. It's plays the mouse. Right. It is now on YouTube. Sherman, wait, 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 wait. No, just so hold on. Wait. Now that you said Sherman Helmsley, now I remember it. Now oh. I remember there being a little, yes, a little, it is. <laughs> a little Sherman Helmsley was in it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was a, it was, it's a terrifying, mm-hmm. terrifying uh, live action. Uh, <laughs> Telly Savalas, I think, mm-hmm. is the Cheshire Cat, the, mm-hmm. <laughs> the old guy. It, there's a ton of people, but I've always <sighs> wondered if Ooh. American McGee took inspiration from that. Mm. because it's all very you know, sing-songy and very the rhymes are very rhythmic do you remember the house of wonderland Have tv I, show that like, was on released disney released a memory in dos no and the white rabbit Say was it? on roller skates do you remember that there, there was a live action alice in wonderland show oh, I know what you're talking on the disney about. channel yeah the rabbit was always on roller skates <laughs> no oh it yes. was it was it, it was wild now it was back a huge... on disney channel if you didn't know I didn't know that. No, it's um, now back on Disney. You can watch it. Wow! Mm-hmm. Oh, no kidding. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Um, it's I think it was called like Alice's. Uh, well, this was a live action show. Um, I, I just oh yeah, but there's a cartoon Disney. version of it now. Oh oh, interessante movie. I'm about to take a look. I'm about to take a look and see because that's pretty. Uh, Pretty interesting there. So the live action was called Adventures in Wonderland, okay. and it was between 1992 and 1995. Yeah. Now there Prime is TV a cartoon. Mm-hmm. I didn't have cable, so I didn't watch it, but I have gone back and watched it. But yeah, if you want to watch the 1985 Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, it was made for TV. It both the part one and part two are now on YouTube. Just type in 1985 Alice in Wonderland and it pops right up Mm -hmm. the first and the second. They're about two hours each for part one and part two. It's really good. Um, But it really highlights how Alice is basically being abused before she falls in the rabbit hole and after um, by her family. And in the American McGee's Alice and in Madness Returns, Basically, everyone treats her like she's crazy, Um, which I mean, back then they were putting women who had attitude problems in insane asylums and giving them lobotomies back then. So is it crazy? Probably not. Um, 
But yeah, the, basically, m- my whole point is, is people are still doing cosplays on TikTok and on Instagram reels. And it's basically bringing a whole new fan base to Madness Returns. And a lot of people are also trying to find American McGee's and make it work on their computers. And I don't know if it's legal for me to tell them how. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Now I have to see this. I don't know where my link went. Oh, there it is. Yeah. This looks insane. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. And the rabbit's on, on roller skates and he can't skate very well and it's hysterical. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yo. Yep. I, I remember like a, that too. Wait, you know, wait, was oh, I thought that was. A, yeah. yeah, this is in 1985. I might have seen this scene. Yeah, I might have seen. Uh-huh. What is Big this? Small. This is me. It. What? Yo, what you say? Let me tell see me? the caterpillar. I know again. All of these songs. Was that? Was that? That's what's exactly what I was about to rewind. I thought it was Tim Robbins at first. Mr. The caterpillar, caterpillar was like, where um, are you? Oh, uh, what was? What's his name? Sam, it looked like Sammy Davis Jr. for a second. <laughs> It is him. That is, is him. Oh, yes. 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 yes, it is. And then the, yes, Summer, uh, just wait. Here you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. so it is mm-hmm. Sammy Davis. Jr. <laughs> yep. 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 Oh yep. wow! Crazy, this right? I make Adam watch I'm, it I'm, when I don't I'm, feel I'm, good. I will absolutely. <laughs> It's oh, so wow. fun fact, That's if you ever insane. come to visit me at my house and I'm not feeling well and I'm in bed and I can't be reading because my head hurts, I'm either watching this or Labyrinth. <laughs> it's one or the two, you know? So w- welcome to my house. <laughs> um, but I just love that a whole new group of people are finding Alice, um, Alice Madness Returns based on... And like the art director, like she's fantastic. She met him through the community originally after American McGee was the first one was made. Um, and they they made the second one together. And then she stayed on to make the booklet mm-hmm. that they presented to EA, which is so cool. If you guys have never seen it, I, I implore you. If you like the first game, you like the second game, mm-hmm. the booklet is so cool. It will make you very sad to know that EA is not making the game. But mm-hmm. here's the thing. When... When people are such diehard fans of something, if you've noticed, Whoa. it keeps TV producers making those things for your entertainment on TV. Why wouldn't they now right. feel the pressure to make a third game? You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I said originally last year when we heard that we got the no uh, late in the year. I think it was September that we heard that the EA just said no. Um and American Mickey was like, listen, I'm not going to keep trying. They said, no, this broke my heart. I've worked on this for so many years, um, you know, 24 years at that point. So it's it's crazy to me that potentially with the fans pushing back, who knows? I don't think EA, whoever charge of that, I don't think they'll do it within really? their span of being where they're at. Only because there, I feel like there's a lot of studios that are no longer taking risks. They're looking for easy ducats. And EA is notorious mm. for their monetization being hella aggressive. Well, this does not this fit within easy, their though, model though. right now. I think yeah. it'll be a change in leadership for this to come back up and for somebody to be able to, you know, for them to actually to look at him and say, hey, Let's go back to that. And I don't know. Maybe it won't even be him. I think but- they'd be more likely to to release like an uh a, like a, a remastered collection of the older games or something. Yeah, it makes that, like, sense too. But yeah. I can't see them making anything new, unfortunately. I mean, I, yeah. they, they do that. Some really? they release like 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 you know remastered versions of older games. That's sometimes. easy money. They've done that like before. there's, but making yeah. a new one that that's a. But here's the now. thing. I think. It, but it's so easy. Like there's, there's. But a, you gotta look at the numbers. You gotta look at the numbers and what it's gonna sell. There's like a that's what they're looking at is their investors, and their investors need to make. They're making Star positive. Wars games. They're making yeah. Assassin's Creed. They, yeah, yeah. They said they're you gonna know? remake Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So this shit is so far down the list for right. them. I, I mean, unfortunately, I just have a hard time believing. At least right now. That there would, I, I think even a remake would make more sense 
than for them to go and do that, unfortunately. I think that has more mm-hmm. of a possibility than them moving forward with a new one. Oh, I yeah. Know. You know, I feel like there's, I mean, there's more than like a million of us that are like, please give us a third game, you know? And here's the thing like if again? they re, if they remastered this game, that'd be great, but don't, don't mm-hmm. touch it. Even the first one, they are so beautifully and artfully done. There's no need to change how Alice or her 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 surroundings look. Yeah. It just needs mm-hmm. to be made for now times. Also, I have my enchromas. <laughs> I should go back and play them now that I can see colors. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. It would yeah. be a whole new experience for you. I'm seeing the colors. This is very moody. Again, like I, you know, it remind, <laughs> kind of very much reminds me of something that that Tim Burton would oh, have yeah. a part in. His hands, I feel like, are all over this. <laughs> you right? And what's funny is Tim Burton has made Alice's, and they <laughs> yeah. don't look like this. And you're like, they why? Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, yes. Tim Burton did an Alice? The, the two, the two, uh, I, the, what? The two, it here? I'm sw- the two live action Alice in Wonderland ones, movies with right? uh, his girlfriend Bellatrix the Strange. Yeah. Oh, come on right. now. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Right. The 20, that yeah. That was the matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, dude, I feel like Johnny Depp just it's overshadowed Depp. everything about. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, yeah. Depp. Don't get me wrong, but like I don't remember anything but Depp. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, well, and his wife. His wife is always very unique, and I I love her. Yeah, yeah. His wife. Oh yes, yes, yes. They're not married anymore, uh, which is crazy. Oh, oh, Helena. Um, oh. Yeah. Two names. Can't think. Bottom Carter. That's her name. Helena. <laughs> Helena Ex-wife. Bottom yes, Carter. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fifteen no. ads, Mister Seven Figures. Sorry, Mister so Seven. Yeah. I can't pause them on Mrs. my end, or else I absolutely sorry. would. I'm yeah. not getting the pop-ups. Well, and me neither. And shrink. what's crazy too is the newest one came out not too long ago, right? Uh, uh, the newest what? The the oh. newer Alice, 2016. Okay, so Alice in Wonderland 2, 2010. I mean, I uh, they were all right. They yeah, were okay. they were all right. I mean, again, it should have I mean, looked like this. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like this would have been more. It was very, yeah. It was really colorful, and like I, I don't really remember a lot about it. It just was nothing really other than Johnny Depp. Yeah, like, there was no all- <laughs> Depp, man. You still got yeah. the Depp. <laughs> That's like basically all I remember because it was such a wild take on the mad. <laughs> and then their second was. one was like all about him, like mm-hmm. the whole story. And like, I love that. That was great. Yeah. Like, getting Johnny some Depp context on the Mad Hatter. Yeah. Well, I, and yeah. Then, yeah. And I feel like it's not a well known fact, too. So, if you guys don't know, back in the day, a hatter, the chemicals that they had to use <laughs> to make the hats, mm-hmm. by the time these people reached their 30s, like they were poisoning themselves every time they made oh. these hats. And so that's why your local hatter in your town in the 18, early 1800s would go mad. And so oh, yeah. that's oh, kind of how. With, uh, with mercury, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oof. Mercury poisoning. Yeah. So I had no idea. Yeah. They go a little cuckoo. It's very, it's, it's very intense. Um, and so that's why, you know, that's why the whole story happens for the second one. And I like it, Yeah. but it, it didn't, it wasn't Tim Burton enough for me, I guess. And that's weird mm-hmm. to say, cause he made it, but I don't know. Yeah. I was, I was just excited that like a whole new, a whole new group of people are excited about a game that maybe pushes EA who knows they're not even trying anymore they're like if they make it they make it if they don't they don't but yeah, either they got way college football 25 and Madden ew. 25 about the college I'm very so they haven't done college football in years now because You're the whole excited. nil thing like I am excited for college football I, I haven't played Madden in years but I'm probably gonna I'm pick really up that college good at football. Madden I don't know why really? but I'm really good at Madden I don't know Madden. how to play yes. those games when I played, <laughs> when I worked at Circuit City, what to do. I don't either. But <laughs> apparently, I'm good at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I would remember, just pick I the remember. plays and pick a few characters that I knew, and then I was running the ball, and people are like, "How was, are you uh, doing that?" Like, oh, was Blitz the game that would show but you like the bones breaking? You'd have like an yeah. X-ray cam. 
Let's see. And you see the movie like a yes. tentacle and you see a crunch <laughs> or like a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't yeah. know what that was. Yeah. There is a hockey version too called Hits. That would be really cool. That'd be pretty (laughs) fun. I I do like hockey games. I remember playing. I can't remember. There was a hockey game on the Sega Genesis. It was really good, and you could get into fights. And we would just force fights every time, and not even play the, (laughs) not even play the hockey. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) You know what's funny? Sega Genesis. Adam bought me my my possum. They redid my favorite game from the Sega Genesis and they oh. published it recently on Steam and Adam bought it for Sick. me and surprised me with Which it. Game? I am it's so cute. Oh god. Uh I don't have my thing up. Uh Adam, what was the game called? I'm and it's sure it's called game. Resparked. Um oh hold on. Uh oh. Yeah. But I'll remember yeah, it. no Oh what? Yeah. Uh, this looks good. Unfortunately, I mean, it looks good. Uh, unfortunately, Rocket EA. Night Adventures. Rocket Knight Adventures. Rocket Knight Adventures was nice. my favorite Sega Genesis. It's about a little opossum. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. But the music is so good in the game, and I never got to beat it. And I, I could ask my friend for my Sega Genesis back, but who knows if it even works now. Um, but yeah, they remade mm. the game and they released it on Steam, and it's it's adorable. Oh, I'm wow. very happy about it. But I interrupted you. I'm so sorry, sir. Me? Yes, you. I do not remember Couldn't what I was saying. Then. Who? Who stole the <laughs> I, had, I did look up. Star. I did look up yes. this rocket. Yep, this is that's it. Wow. <laughs> yep, that's the game. Yep, that's yep, yep. Fantastic. That's the opening. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. What is that? doesn't tell you what the oh, buttons wait, are. Oh, wait. I kind of remember so this now. Oh, that's right. This is Genesis, right? <sighs> Sega Genesis. Is this a Capcom mm-hmm. game? Like a, uh, it reminds me of that Mickey Mouse Adventures game where you had the vacuum. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, It's by yeah. Konami. Konami. Konami, that's what I meant. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. they must have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks mm-hmm. like that Mickey Mouse game. That's why. That's yeah. Cool. The new animated in-betweens, I don't remember that being in the game. But uh, yeah, the gameplay, that's actual footage of it. So nice. I'm trying to figure out how what buttons on the controller are because it doesn't tell you yeah, really. Yeah, because yeah, Sega I, has like they have like three buttons, don't they? Don't they have yeah. like yeah. it's like A mm-hmm. B Q or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a B F. Yeah. They have like yeah, they have like an X, Y, and G button. <laughs> but yeah, yeah those, good stuff. Yeah, good topics. Good good chit chatting with everybody. Did yeah. we hit our hour on the timer? Oh, is that what we're shooting for? Yeah. You were supposed we're to start a timer. Oh, I perfect. did start the timer. Well, you, you started Davis recording, can, right? Davis can edit. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Dallas, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much I for really having appreciate me. it. Yes. And Absolutely. it was a last minute too. So you you saved me because it was it was it was my turn to find somebody. Uh and our, our first pick unfortunately it was like i don't know if i can do that i was like that's okay don't. i was the second pick hmm? <laughs> i can't believe you said something i know she was like hey thanks for being what? here because our first pick kind of flaked out but oh, hopefully uh, out. my number two guy came through oh stop no give it up for number two Doss keeps cutting out on my end, so I'm like, wait, what? Uh-oh. I'm missing pits of the conversation. I'm sorry. Sorry, no, we my... have to figure that out. Hey, it's okay. I, I said, I'm glad I can be the best number two guy for you, since I number should've... one couldn't come through. No. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I... It was my turn to find somebody, and I am an idiot and forgot that I have your cell phone number and should have reached out to you first. So thank yeah. you for being here today. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys in chat. Shut up, Drago. Thank you guys in chat for being here and joining in on the conversation. I appreciate it. I can't remember. You guys are you dicks. Stop it. That's a dick for you. Thankfully, Tess doesn't have anything going on on a Saturday. Because my first person did. <laughs> Give it no, a you number are very... two favorite. Stop it. You are a very, you are a very busy human being. So I, I when they were like, it's your turn to pick, I was like, oh, is it? 
okay, uh, Adam. And he was like, no. I'm like, dang it. He's like, it's my birthday weekend. I just want to play games. I'm like, fine. Yeah, let's play some games, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is Adam's birthday weekend, so if you guys see him online, wish him a happy birthday and tell him he's an old man. He'll appreciate he it. He ain't even that old, <laughs> homie. That's no, I know. You're so young, dude. I didn't even realize you're that young, to be honest. Me? Yeah. Hold really? on, Mustachio. Oh, yeah. Dustin. I almost not. forget it. Yeah. I'm a month older than him. I know. Yeah, I, that's crazy. I'm just. Can we get I'm some love little, for Smitty? Twenty four, forty seven, working twenty four hours a day, forty seven days a, a year. <laughs> Basically. I wish, dude. That'd be the life. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the life, dude. I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> just work four, days straight. Just work four twenty four hour days a month. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. Mm-hmm. Cha ching, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't remember how Dave Davis closes this out. Cut this out. You don't Davis. remember how? I, think. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, right? but don't forget though, folks. Again, <laughs> thank you so much, Das, for coming through. We yes. appreciate it. Much Absolutely. love to Lex as well. Don't forget, guys. Check out the main website, comfreaksandgeeks.com as well. We appreciate you guys listening. Don't forget, go share, comment, like all that things that they say about right social media. Review. Exactly. Do all those things. We mm-hmm. appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.